Hello, MES students. I am ready to share challenge six for the 518 rainbow hunt. As you can see, I am wearing my rainbow t-shirt and ready to inspire you for this rainbow challenge. It's a perfect time to celebrate the sunny days and the perfect winds that we are having for spring and make a simple rainbow kite just made out of paper. You can also add a touch of flair if you like, maybe some glitter or not, your choice. So did you know that the kite symbolizes freedom? When you are flying a kite, you have the same feeling of freedom, say like a bird while it skims and swoops and circles in the sky. Well, in many countries, kite flying is an example of a hobby and it also say in India it marks the arrival of spring because the sun comes back and harvest is ready and the season is to follow for them to have crops and so they celebrate the festival of kite flying. Kite festivals are very popular also in the United States too. There are activities at the festivals like bouncy houses, pony rides, face painting, even a petting zoo. A big highlight, this is really cool, is that candy is dropped from the kites. Now that sounds like a lot of fun and I would love to go to that festival. Well, the kite festivals are a very fun packed event as you, can see, as you just heard for family and friends and there are three very large kite festivals that take place in Washington, D.C., New Jersey, and Texas. If you would like information on looking at these kite festivals, and there's even a video that you can log on to in the PowerPoint, and you can actually watch these kites fly at the festivals. Well, I like to share some kites that I found in the festivals. Uh, at the festivals. This one right here is a bug rainbow kite. This is pretty cool, right? And then there's a symmetrical kite. If you said butterfly, you are right. A butterfly. Wow, I like this one too. And that's just the ordinary kite. But look at the tails, all rainbow. These, all three of these kites, I think would be very nice to fly myself. Well, it's everything you need to make this paper kite you are going to be able to find at home. A ruler, tape, string, pencil, eight and a half by 11 paper. If you have cardstock, that would probably be best. And if you can find a small twig or uh, some kind, I, this is a chopstick, a pipe cleaner, and some flagging tape, which is just uh, tape, nylon tape. You can find this at a hardware store. Ribbon, if you don't have any flagging tape, that would be fine. And if you would actually like to fly your kite, the flagging tape would um, work best. Uh, the ribbon may be something that you can place on your kite and just hang it in the window for many others to see. All right, so. Are we ready to start our kite? We need an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the paper in half very carefully, meet the ends very slowly, shoot to the right and shoot to the left. And you have your fold. Lay your paper down right where your fold is. What you're going to do is measure uh, three quarters of an inch on the top of the fold. And I uh, drew these dotted lines that's telling you this is where you need to fold. And this is all in the PowerPoint, but uh, do not, you don't have to uh, draw these lines on your paper. And then on the bottom, you're going to go three and a half inches over, okay? Now, before you even have your paper. Before you even do this, what you want to do, and Mrs. Audino already made her kite, both sides of the paper, 
you are going to paint in rainbow colors, in stripes. So you're going to paint the rainbow colors on one side, and I would probably say maybe an inch. So you'll have an inch of violet, an inch of indigo, an inch of blue, uh, let me see if I can remember, an inch of uh, green, an inch of yellow, an inch of orange, and an inch of red. And just stripe those watercolor colors, uh, watercolor paint is fine, flip it and paint the same on the other side. But right now I'm just using a white sheet of paper to show you. After you, okay, let's go back to three, uh, to a quarter inch here. Yeah, three quarter inch here and three and a half inches here. All right. And then you're going to fold your paper the best you can. I'll just show you where I fold, had fold the paper right here. Fold the paper, lay it flat, flip it over. On the other side, you are going to fold the paper. So as you can see, I fold paper on both sides. And then I'm going to take some glue stick and I'm going to glue the inside of my paper. Just like this, I'm going to fold it, place it on the table, press it down, and this would be the shape. I'll show you from different sides, okay? Now understand, remember that this entire sheet of paper on both sides is of rainbow colors, okay? All right, so next what we're going to do is you're going to take that stick, if you have, or a pipe cleaner, and you're going to place that at the corner of each of your paper, and you're going to tape it down the best you can. All right, here we go. Make sure it's nice and secure. Okay. So it should look like this. All right. And then you can take your uh, hole puncher and way up here on the tip, you are going to hole punch. You can also do this with a pencil. You can poke a hole in with a pencil. That would be fine. All right. Then take your string and um, don't cut your string off because you don't know how long you want your string. This is if you're actually going to try to challenge yourself and fly the kite. You're going to place your, um, put your string here, tie a knot, and then you're going to take the ribbon or your flagging tape and tape it to the back here. And I also would add some heavy glue so it stays if you're going to fly the kite outside. And that's all. Let's look at Mrs. Audino's and see how she did. Well, here is mine. You can see I have my rainbow. I started, I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. I have my stick going across the top, my flagging tape, and I also attached my string here. I don't know if you can see that right here. And it's attached to... Uh, my the I'm gonna hold this in my hand I'm not sure how I don't want to cut it so I'm gonna go out I'm actually going to try to fly this so if I can get somebody to videotape me I will share that with you and maybe if you do the same thing you can video have someone videotape yourself and share it with Mrs. Audino now you can enjoy making a kite too maybe even read a book about kites I put together a book list in my PowerPoint for all ages, from picture books to chapter books. Make sure to check it out. I also look forward to sharing another hashtag 518 rainbow hunt challenge with you next week. So find that special rainbow in your day. Bye.